And now we revisit our crisis in health care, specifically when it comes to having enough doctors and nurses to go around. The American Medical Association says the physician decline is so very real. And in just over a decade, we could be short anywhere from 35,000 to 125,000 doctors. And that's going to hurt us in our rural areas. That's not a problem that we can wait a decade to solve. It takes years to become a doctor. So the only way to fix it in the future is to start now. And tonight, the U says it's hoping to team up with CentraCare to start fixing it with that focus first on rural health. Devon is here with a look at what they have in store. Hey, Devon. Well, Jana, when we talk about those shortages, specifically in rural communities, in some cases, people are having to wait months just to get in for things like physicals or having to travel miles to see a specialist. But a new medical school is hoping to change that. They say time is of the essence, which is proving to be the case when it comes to health care in rural communities across Minnesota. That over the last year, I think it's like 117,000 physicians have left health care. So uh, in places where resources are already scarce, you really can feel the impact of that. In towns like Sox Center, where Dr. Jamie Hammerbeck, a rural area doctor with CentraCare, is witnessing those impacts firsthand. So I'm spread out in a, in a lot of different ways. I also work in the ER. I also work in the hospital. I deliver babies like we talked about. I also work in the nursing homes. The shortage of rural area physicians is expected to grow by 80,000 nationally in the next seven years. Startling statistics driving the launch of a brand new medical school in Minnesota for the first time in 50 years. If we create a rural educational environment, the folks that are educated there are much more likely to practice there and make a life there. Dr. Ken Holman is the president and CEO of CentraCare, a healthcare system based in St. Cloud, partnering with the University of Minnesota's medical school to expand education and training, placing med students in the heart of rural Minnesota with three major goals. More physicians, more nurses, improve the health of our citizens and invest in our communities. Investments, which Dr. Hammerback hopes will pay off long term. Someday I'm going to want to retire. And so having a resource like that available, not only to, you know, train rural doctors, but then hopefully, you know, they want to work in rural areas. That's the whole goal. Why do you think there's such a need for more rural doctors? Because it's hard because there aren't enough people. So if we have more people, that'll make the, the job more, you know, doable and more sustainable. Where do things stand with sort of bringing this to fruition? This will grow over time, but we're very excited. This is a remarkable opportunity for um, central Minnesota, rural Minnesota at large to um, achieve those three objectives. Now, the U of M Board of Regents will vote in February on whether or not to approve this new partnership. And if approved, the first class of med students is expected to start in two years. Jana? Wow, they really want to get this going quickly. It's that urgent to need, I guess. Right, Devon? Yeah, they're wasting no time at this point. Okay, thank you so much.